Hi, my name's Lindy and welcome to this channel. My website is www.lindycowling.co.uk. My email is info at lindycowling.co.uk. And the title of this short video this evening here in the UK, that's the 8th of March 2019, is Under the Umbrella. Ella, 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 Under the Umbrella. So what do I mean and where am I going with Under the Umbrella? I could have called this video by a different title and actually called it two forms of mediumship or under the umbrella Ella Ella two forms of mediumship so what do I mean by this in the course of working to assist people to go through an awakening ascension process to help them have the tools and assistance to free themselves up from their unconscious programming, from their unconscious, uh, no longer serving them belief systems, from negative programming. Part of my role is to help them and illuminate on their behalf belief systems, energy traits or patterns that are keeping them looping continually in a holding pattern, if you like, of where they don't want to be and where they don't want to be looping. And as part of that process, I can help them identify where these patterns and holding, holding sort of patterns are. And for me, I see energy and can feel the energy. So a simple example of this would be an average person. Let's give you a really easy example. An average person approaching somebody such as a psychic or clairvoyant for a reading or an average person approaching somebody such as a medium for reading going along and the medium or the psychic if they are reading on a linear third dimensional level would either not pick up the large umbrella of energy over the top of the person they are reading for. And if you ask me what the large umbrella of energy is, it's a holding pattern, a belief system, an ancestral energy, an unconscious energy, um, a distorted energy, an interfering energy. These are all different things it could be, not all of these things at once. Um, it can be a belief system, an archetypal belief system in humanity's consciousness, in a collective consciousness that one is looped into, connected to, and a medium psychic or clairvoy clairvoyant reading linearly, they could either just see and just identify with the umbrella, Ella, Ella, and not see beyond that, not see the higher levels of somebody outside of the umbrella, or the medium clairvoyant or psychic may not be able to see the umbrella at all. So I could have called this video, as I say again, two forms of mediumship, because there are is the form of mediumship or psychic clairvoyant readings, because mediumship is um, slightly different. There is clairvoyance and psychic ability there, obviously, but linear mediumship also links, makes a bridge really between those that have passed over or died in the other dimensions to come back and give evidence of life beyond 
this current reality. But there is also a form of mediumship, which I'm going to call multidimensional mediumship, which means a medium or former medium or psychic or clairvoyant that could do the linear form of clairvoyance or psychic work, but can also, as a result of their own evolutionary process, identify one's, I could say, higher self, higher outcomes, other timelines, other realities. They're seeing the whole multi-dimensional picture, not just the linear picture. So a conventional third dimensional linear medium will either not see the umbrella, the archetypal energy, the distorted energy, the collective belief systems that the individual has taken on, the family belief systems in the individual have taken on, or they will only see that and identify only with that and not see beyond it, not see above the umbrella. So a classic example of this again would be somebody that goes along for a reading and because only the umbrella is seen, the reader giving a reading for that person will have the whole reading clouded by what they see underneath the umbrella and not be able to see alternate multidimensional outcomes for that person because in on a linear trajectory there is a large umbrella over them. Somebody reading a multidimensional medium reading for them is able to see the umbrella, the archetypal consciousness, the collective consciousness, the ancestral consciousness, the higher outcomes or higher self, and the higher dimensional self or selves of the person they're reading for. And they are able to see up above the umbrella and link in to the divinity, the purity, and the higher evolutionary outcomes for that individual and help try and guide them to punch little holes to, to allow the light and the love and the person to come online to that within themselves, but also come online to their hearts and to their source energy within themselves so that the umbrella, the archetypal consciousness, the ancestral consciousness, the distorted consciousness, if you like, the belief system, negative belief system consciousness is no longer influencing them. In other words, helping them to come into a more conscious state and a state in which that individual can use their free will and free will conscious choices because they're no longer being influenced by the umbrella, Ella Ella. In a way, a multidimensional medium works through that process with the individual in a not unsimilar way to a linear medium or a linear psychic clairvoyant because a linear psychic clairvoyant, a third dimensional psychic clairvoyant or medium makes that bridge, that link with spirit or those on the other side. And they make that bridge or link really through that, let's say the heart or that love or that compassion. And if say they were helping assist a spirit to, to pass over, say it was a spirit that was trapped or didn't know they'd died or didn't wanna go over to the other side and they passed years ago, how a linear 
medium works there is you link that spirit or individual with love and compassion the love the compassion perhaps they had in their life now it might be a spirit that never had love or compassion in their life in which case you have to work on other ways around it not almost trick them but encourage them in a different way to, to go towards the light if you like but there is a link being made so that the spirit almost finds that that within themselves, that divinity within themselves. You act as a bridge to help them cross. Well, it's not an unsimilar thing to how the multidimensional medium works. Because a multidimensional medium has to see the divinity and link with the divinity and purity and sacredness and love, I guess, and compassion within that person but also help them to make the link with it, which then goes up through the umbrella and bursts through it and starts to dissolve it. And all the dots seem to add up for that individual then. They start making their own connections with A, B, C, D and E in themselves, in their energy field, in their heart. And then there is a significant breakthrough. Now, the reason I'm bringing this video out is I thought it would be very interesting for those of you that are making a transformation from an unconscious individual in a separation mode to a ultimately conscious individual in a unified zero point conscious mode. And you may be doing that without ever speaking to a psychic clairvoyant, or you may be doing it with to, talking to a psychic clairvoyant or a medium or a multidimensional medium. And the reason I'm bringing this out because A, I thought you would find it interesting from your own perception to realize that around your energy field, but within your mind, within your mental body and pain body, and around your energy field, you are highly influenced by these belief systems and by this programming and societal conditioning because you run your lives pretty much unconsciously or subconsciously um, from them. But also that when one has um, that perceived awareness of it or that change in perception and awareness on it, one can change it. And I also wanted to bring it out because from my own personal experience, I have been working in the energy arenas for nearly 20 years. And for many of those years, before I went through the heart transformational process, through one of the ascension templates of the rebalancing of masculine feminine energy as an act of service for humanity, which is known as Twin Flame Union, before all of that, I worked as a linear medium and a linear psychic clairvoyant, but I no longer can limit myself to working that way anymore because my consciousness has opened up multidimensionally. Now, before you misinterpret what I'm saying, I have the utmost respect and regard for those that are working genuinely, genuine psychics clairvoyance and genuine mediums, whatever level they're working at, because they're doing a fantastic job and a fantastic act of service um, there for people. I'm just using myself as an example that that was the route I came through. But interestingly, when I do that kind of work now, I'm working on a, on a different level, a multidimensional level. So it's not to say that I can't do the conventional mediumship but it's a bit like I have to go back into a, a, the 90 degree view instead of the 360 so I have to limit um, what I'm seeing or feeling the whole complete picture for someone to what they're able to perceive so on on what they're perceiving so I can't give them the whole picture of everything I'm seeing if that's not what they're wanting to see. They're just they're wanting to connect with Uncle George from the other side. But it's a really interesting thing. It's a really interesting 
dynamic. It's something that I see very often in my work. And it's something that's really come to my awareness that it's something I hear a lot, you know, where people go to somebody who is reading for them based on how they are able to read for them, based on their own belief systems and their own programming, that's the reader. And if they, based if they're able to even see anything archetypally or in consciousness around an energy field or not even perceive that it's there. So it's a, there's no criticism on this, it's just a video to explain that there has been huge shifts really in that arena as people are going up through their consciousness. So a lot of people come to me and say, I have gone to different readers for things and they're just not able to pick up on the stuff you're picking up on because they can't see the energy like that. They can see it differently but they can't see it like that. And then I've been to others, I've been to readers that have said, uh, you know, I can't, I can't see beyond the umbrella really. They haven't used the word umbrella, but they've just said, I can just see this. It is tricky. It is tricky. I mean, it's tricky for me as well sometimes because someone can be so immersed in a belief system that it's not just a tiny belief system. It's all over their energy field it's 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 through everything that all their thinking processes their daily activities everything is all governed and influenced by this and if you are someone working and trying to help people you know help them through these processes and you're watching this you know the the what i would say is the tip here is to help people to link in with their, they give them the tools to link into their own heart, give them the tools to link into their own divinity, give them the tools to make that bridge. Um, you can be the signpost towards it, but give them, give them the tools to do that because it, it suddenly seems to almost like punch its way through this like shroud, I'm going to call it again a big black umbrella, over a person so that they can it, it, it runs a it causes causes a synapse it causes a almost a change in the neural pathways where everything kind of runs together all the dots add up and suddenly they have this aha moment and realization and the shift in consciousness so this um this applies to everyone because pretty much everyone on the planet you know there might be a few exceptions are pretty much you know somewhere somewhere at their level of evolution you know tied in to a dynamic where they are being um, influenced one way or another by programming uh, or by linking in with these templates of consciousness that aren't always serving them. There are amazing templates of consciousness out there, inner ones and outer ones, micro and macro, that of course are serving people fantastically. But there are also ones that aren't. And awareness is key to everything. If you don't know that you're doing this and, and you've just you, you've taken it on so much that you accept it's part of you and your personality, how can you ever shift anything or shift your consciousness or actually come from a place of free will? There, you won't have free will if it's 99.9% .9 programmed and belief systems that have been programmed into you. That's not your free will. So it's just, um, I thought, you know, I just thought I'd bring this out because it is interesting, both from the perspective of any professionals watching this that are themselves reading on a linear fashion for someone, but also those that are reading from a multidimensional level. Let me just stress again, I'm not saying one is better than the other. I'm actually, I've been through the whole process. I've been a linear me medium for very many years and I've just had a foot in both camps and I'm kind of really most of the time reading multidimensionally now. Doesn't mean to say one's better than the other at all. It's just different shifts in our own perception. And as our perception shifts, we're able to see different perspectives and read differently than the way that we could read before. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you. Hope you found it interesting because I think I'm going to go straight on 
and do another video here. I've got an idea on what that's going to be on. So uh, I'll see you again, uh, probably actually in a few minutes. So I'll see you again shortly. OK, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for donating. All of you that donate, I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. And um, I'll see you again shortly. Bye.